Adam and JP are here. <laughs> what? There's the girls. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Everybody together. Anybody bring the tickets? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, the director of the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Brunswick, Connie is a dedicated leader who sets an example for cadets by supporting the community and many local events. She is active with the Golden House Chamber of Commerce and serves on the steering committee of the College of Coastal Georgia with her husband, John. Connie has four children and one grandchild. Now, Patrick Owen has been a well-known and highly acclaimed fixture on the local shack dance scene since 2001 when he moved to Glen County and joined the Golden Isle Shag Club. Originally from Hazelhurst, Georgia, Patrick has been a beach music fan since he was a teenager. He took his first Carolina Shag lesson from the Golden Isle Shag Club a year before moving to Glen County. Since then, his love and expertise of the dance has grown. Now twice a year, Patrick travels to North Myrtle Beach, the home, they claim, of the Carolina Shag for the SOS Shag Festival. Patrick is a member of the Bethel Church in Brunswick and he currently works as a financial advisor for Valick, utilizing his 11 years in the sales industry. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Connie Patrick and Patrick Owens performing The Shag.
Derek, hi Patrick, Patrick Owens. Let me step off to the side here. You're right, you're fine right where you are. I do have to tell you, Connie, you are the cutest cop I've ever seen. <laughs> Is this easier police work doing this? I'm gonna keep my day job. You're gonna keep your day job? Okay, well, you know, you might take that into consideration. Now, now um, Mr. Owens, I know you're a financial advisor. Connie said that uh, police work is probably a little harder. This was, you know, something, but you're a financial advisor. What has been easier for you, dancing around with Connie Patrick or dancing around the current economy? Uh, Connie takes instructions a lot better than the average client. <laughs> Wonderful. Very good. Very good. That's good to hear. I know that's a relief for you. If we uh, may step forward, I'm hoping the judges are close to having these uh, scores tabulated. Maybe we'll pause right here, and if we can, uh, right in this area here. All right. And uh, would we like to start with Miss Heather? Okay. Um, I don't like seven, six, five numbers because everybody worked so hard and they gave their heart for this organization. So I really appreciate all the answers. I love what you did at the beginning. You know, you take your glove off, the purse. That was funny. I loved it. It's very entertaining. And um, and then you dance at the beginning, and I enjoyed that. And then at the end, um, you see. You stare at him the whole time instead of looking at all of us. I love when somebody look at us every once in a while. So um, I will give you a... Miss Tracy. I really enjoyed your performance and your feet work um, was great. The mirroring of his feet work and your feet work. Um, the mirror steps are really important in the shag, so that was well done, and you were doing that in heels, and that's not easy to do. And there was a couple of nice triple steps in there, so you kept some of the basic movements in there, and I really enjoyed the performance. Thank you. And I'm going to give you a seven. Dr. Batista, now I know you're the heaviest duty professional maybe around here in ballrooms, so, you know, go easy on these folks. I do the dance very well. It's uh, a super, uh, you know, just need some little, just little performance, I think, but I'll give you a Okay, I think, oh wait, there's one other judge. Yes, Mr. Farrell. How cute is Connie Patrick? Come on, give it up. That is phenomenal. I've heard about this role playing out at Fletzy. I think the woman does it 24-7. I mean, look at this dress. This is phenomenal. And I do understand, Connie, if I don't give you a good score tonight, I will disappear. <laughs> She knows eight ways to take you out with a pencil. I mean, she's got a whole team of folks that I don't think with Rolling Thunder or anything else, I'll get home tonight. So, I mean, that was phenomenal. And if you give me that Bobby Bowden picture like you promised, I'll give you a 10. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Patrick.